Okay. So this question says you are given an array where you have, let's say, six questions of one marks each. Then you have three questions of two marks each. And then you have two questions of three marks each. So these are kind of count and this is marks. And now the question was like how in how many ways you can receive achieve some target target score. So target in the example given is let's say six. I want to achieve a score of six using these questions. Then how do I get uh, the target of six? Now the one caveat was if we are attending one mark questions from here, then it, it said it doesn't matter which two questions or which three questions you are picking. For example, if let's say just, just hypothetically, if I'm doing two questions from here, and if I'm doing one question from here, and if I'm doing two questions from here, their order doesn't matter. Like out of six, whichever two you choose, they are considered to be kind of same category. It's not like first two is a different for, uh, arrangement, next two is a different. So this is like two question picking here is like one way and that is the way you're picking things from here. This point is clear to everyone? Yes. yes so ultimately what we want to find out is how many questions of one marks. So questions of one marks plus questions of two marks plus questions of three marks. If this leads to target, this is one possible way. And this can be, let's say, count of questions of one marks I'm picking, count of question of two marks, and count of question of three marks. If this complete thing gives me a target, this is my valid solution. Okay. So ultimately, this resembles one standard uh, DP problem. Can you tell me which problem are you able to correlate it to or connect to like? Knapsack. Yes. Types. That, knapsack. That is good. Guess yes, uh, Asta. So that is knapsack kind of problem. So you you want to achieve a sum, and for every for every group, what are the choices you have in knapsack? What do you do in knapsack? You decide to take an item or leave take an item. Right. That was the knapsack thing. The twist they have added here is. Now, when you come to this group one, it is no more take it or leave it. It is about, if it is about, if, if total count is six, can you tell me what are the options? If total count is six, what are my choices? Rather than take it or leave it, it is something else. Because we have a target here. Yeah. We cannot, we cannot take, uh, uh, in some case where our mark like will grow more than the target. Correct. But Tika, that also, let's say I make, an, I make a choice that if I'm allowed to take, let's say I never exceed the target. Imagine even if I pick all six, let's say I'm trying to get a target of 22. So what are the choices? How many you can pick from here? Uh, I Zero can to six. one. Yeah, zero to six. Yes. So ideally we can pick one to six. But if we put zero, we are taking leave it approach also. Is that right? Yeah. So if you take zero, it's leave it approach. If you take one, you are picking one. If you take two, three, four, five, six. But these six are your, these seven are your choices. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So ultimately we will explore every possible choice at every point if we think. So if I say I want to achieve a target sum and I will think of it like this. I want how many ways are there if I start from index zero here, this is my index zero, one, two. So I'm considering one index as my start index. Let me write it as SI. With this SI, I want to achieve a target and I want to know how many ways are there. Is this fair? The formulation is similar to knapsack. Here SI is uh, start and size of the Okay. So where we are starting from. So I am okay. saying starting from index SI, from index SI to achieve targets, achieve target in array. How many ways are there? So I'm going from left to right. We could have formulated it right to left also. Okay, got it. 
but this is one way like consider every index to be the start index okay right so i have two choices one choice is giving me ways by leaving it leave it and another is giving which is take it but take it will bifurcate into multiple choices which is going from one to uh, the total count of i count of si is that right yes and this is going to zero so what i'm going to do is i'm going to combine them into one which where i will say zero to count of si so my ways of si now the transition if we write the recurrence if we write it is going to be ultimately sum of all the ways from zero to count so can i say ways of si plus one that means move to the next index comma target minus what if you want to achieve target so if you have chosen current if you have not chosen any question from here then what is the target remaining now same same right if you have chosen one question from here what is the target remaining now target minus one into the score of the Correct. So target minus marks one. Yes. If I pick two questions from here, it is target minus two. So can I simply write it as it will be target minus whatever is the marks of I or marks of SI into whatever count oh. I am picking. I am picking a count C. Yes. It will be summation of all of this where my C varies from 0 to count of SI. Yes. Okay. If we just elaborate on the same example, 6, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3. So now it was 6, 1, 3, 2 and 2, 3 and our target was what? Six. Target 22 one. letter. Six. Yeah, we will go with six. So when we are at when we are at index zero achieving target of six, I go with the choice of not taking this. So I will start at index one and I will want to achieve target of six. Then yes. I'll go ahead, I'll leave it. I'll go ahead with uh, index two as a starting index and achieve target of six. And finally, I'll go ahead with start at index three and get a target of six. Now, because three has gone out of the array, so index zero, one, two, three, there is no possible way. Can I say there are zero ways? Yes. Okay. Now coming to index two, how many choices we have at index two? I can take one, I can take two, I can take three. Is that right? Right. If I take one, then I'm going with index three. If I take one of these, then I have to reduce marks by three. Three. And another is if I take it two times, then? Then two into three, you have to reduce. So three comma zero. Three comma zero. Then if I take three times? We cannot take three times. Like let's three take, only. let's take for now. Let's go ahead. Then what will then it, it will be? Three comma six minus nine. Oh no, sorry. Minus. This is, this was the count? Yes. And three was the marks. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, we cannot take. Sorry, I was looking at the second three as the count, but second three is marks. So we can't take. Okay, so this is this is all. Can I say this option is leading to zero because our sum is still not zero and we have hit the end? Yes. But here the target is zero. We don't need any other value and we have come outside the array. Can I say this is one way? Yes. So this one way is here it was take zero, here it was take one, here it was take two. So ultimately we are saying take this two times and you get it's like three plus three is one solution. Right? Yes. Now same way go from here also. And at index one, the other choice is at index one, you can choose it one time. You can choose it two times and now you can choose three times. Is that fair? 
this is this is choosing index one value zero time this is one time two times three times okay so ultimately can i say we have identified a boundary uh, a boundary case here a base case here and somewhere if second value becomes negative also that is also boundary negative means there are zero ways is that right it is right okay so now if we think of how many states will be there or how many uh, answers we have to remember first is index and second is sum if you look at the constraints of the problem how many indices are possible in the array index uh, it's the size of the array size of the array and some value into s right what are the constraints for n and s for n if you look at for it, n it is 50 and for s it is Target is between one to thousand. Thousand. One thousand. Thousand. Some was thousand and uh, n was fifty. Okay, so this is thousand. So ultimately, can I say I need to remember answers of fifty thousand states at each level? Yes. Okay, so storage required is figured out that we need to this much DP. We can take a two D matrix or a map that is up to us. Right. Now, computation wise, computation wise, when we are solving this problem, for this, I need to have an inner loop. For every going forward, I need to have an inner loop, which will make the time complexity to be uh, n into s into this maximum count. Maximum count. Is that right? Because there will be an inner loop to move forward. Correct. So this is the time complexity. According to max value of C, what do you see max value of C in the constraint? 50. 15 to 1000 into 50. So it, is it well within the 10 power 8 range? Yes, 5 5 is 25 into 1000. So we have a good enough solution which will beat the space and time constraints. Yeah, any questions? Sir, like I have, like sure. see, we have, like we say, na, ki it's uh, in 10 to the power 8 under. Like sometimes 10 to the power 6 array size is there. We say n log n works uh -huh. or big O of n. Uh -huh. We'll not go for, like, if I do 10 to the, uh, if I do uh, 100 operations now in 10 to the power 6 array per, per, per each, uh -huh. it will get to you 10 to the power 8. Sometimes it happens. I yes, don't know yes. why. She, like, no, that will be very borderline. Uh, like log n means key, like you can't do t uh, more than 20 30 operations in per per each yeah right? in 10 power 6 log n is just 20 more operations yeah, yeah. but sometimes bounds are uh, like sometimes authors can put test cases so that every test case makes you do those 20 computations so and sometimes platforms also can have some we can say bug that's why for authors it is always critical that they don't put very corner case, test cases which sometimes get accepted sometimes give tl yeah. yeah so yeah okay are we clear with the approach guys yes sir okay. yes sir okay. so quickly uh, to walk you through the code that i had written for this i'll just bring that up so let me just get to, yeah, so the code for this was here, if you see, I just went ahead with the DP array of the same state. Okay, in my state, if you see, my target is first index is later. So it is just a mirror image of what I discussed with you. Okay, so I was discussing index comma S, here it is S comma index. So if target is zero is one base case, whenever we reach target zero, doesn't matter which index we are at, we got one way. If target is less than zero is a boundary that even if I have chosen a wrong uh, mark question, which I cannot even attempt. So that will hit me to this. So boundary will handle it. If my index becomes greater than or equal to total array size, then it is zero because here I'm 100% sure my target is known zero. 
If target was zero, it would have been handled by first. Now, if DP has the answer, I'm returning that answer. Otherwise, here is the loop that we were talking about that we can choose zero items, one item, two items, or up to count from the current uh, set. Now, slight optimization could have been this. If target minus marks is less than zero, then don't make this call. Make it kind of skip it. Else. Or here, I could have actually come out also. Yeah, you can do break. Yeah, we can do break because zero, one, two, three, because here I can, I can just break. Like, what is the point of going ahead and trying? Uh, if count three is not possible, how can count four, five, six, seven? If author was conscious about adding test cases like this, I would have got TLE for this also, probably. But here, constraints are small, so worst case also doesn't matter. But but I, I guess this one optimization I did not put because I felt like I'm beating the maximum constraint, so why unnecessary? Clutter the code here with this. Check. If if author was conscious of that, I would like to discuss that point. Yeah. Ki, uh, the, you have declared DP in this way, right? This mm -hmm. is slower. This is slower. Lower if, means slower, slower. Slower. Okay. If one not one is age uh -huh. and a hazard is piche, that oh, one is faster. Okay. Nice. They, like this is uh, if anyone if some anytime we get TLE, we should reverse that. Like if you check on internet. Oh my or God. Some, this is a new learning and very interesting point. So uh, here, chota value hamesha aage hona chahiye, bada value hamesha piche hona chahiye. So array ke computation is faster. So Piyush is saying this is typically faster. Is it? It is because of the jump we are doing to indices. It is just it, memory, right? It's memory, sir. Like you can search on internet. Abhi search kar sakte ho. Wo hota na ki sparse matrix jab one banate, jaise sparse matrix mein problems karte na, to usme bahut baari aisa hota hai ki agar chote wale values humne baad mein declare kare na, to TLE aa jata hai. Okay. Wo constraints ke upar hote hai. Ab isko aise search karo na abhi kisi pe. ठीक है वो करेंगे. But I want to hear your perspective more on this, or I want to brainstorm here while I. Yeah. Why would why would that be? What is our understanding? Why would that make a difference? Uh, like जैसे कि मैंने उस time पे जब search कर रहा था, what I found is कि उन्होंने ऐसा explain करा है कि अब जैसे कि array में आपके पास जब आप array declare करते हो ना 1d 2d ये हमारे perspective में 1d 2d है. Okay. array के पास तो correct सीधा line है पूरा. Yes. और उन्होंने ऐसा लिखा है code कि अगर आप बड़े values आगे डाल दोगे ना तो उसको कंप्यूट करके समझने में थोड़ा अधिक टाइम लगता है कंपेयर टू अगर आप छोटे वैल्यूज आगे रखोगे ना तो जल्दी जल्दी समझ के मतलब आपको वो कर देगा बहुत छोटा डिफरेंस होता है ये लेकिन जब जैसे कि अगर मान लीजिए टू 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 और थाउजेंड मैंने लिखा है तो इसमें एकदम दिखेगी आपको कि कुछ मिली सेकेंड okay. इधर उधर आ रहा है टॉकिंग अबाउट इफ इफ यूर एर इज मल्टी डायमेंशनल एर एज टू 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 और थाउजेंड Thousand in the end. वो तो बहुत बड़ी होगी लेकिन ऐसा कुछ. Then you are saying this will actually create. Faster. It will be faster. अगर हजार हम लोग आगे रख देंगे और फिर बाद में two to two to रखेंगे वो slow होगा. आपको एकदम milliseconds में दिख जाएगा कि इतना slow जा रहा है. Oh okay. So this can be one thing. Memory में भी it is all locality of reference. It, oh. it actually processor does some caching. If you have array of size ten to the power six. Yeah. If you are trying to access index ninth, huh. then what is done is uh, it is proactive caching. What it does, index nine plus few indices before it and few indices after it are loaded in cache of the processor, with the hope that if you have access index ninth, then next you are going to access index ten or eleven or previous one. Okay. So now that means next time when you ask that I want some next memory, even if it is paged out, the processor can. कैशे में वो रिमेम्बर्ड होगा ओके तो दैट मे बी वन ऑफ द रीजन लाइक आई एम एनविजनिंग एंड थिंकिंग तो बट ठीक है दिस इज लाइक समथिंग इंटरेस्टिंग एंड न्यू आई डिड नॉट नो दिस के इवन दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स कैन कॉज टीएल ये सर नहीं वेर ओवर द कॉन्टेस्ट बट ओके या सो अल्टीमेटली आई डोंट नो व्हेदर दिस चेंज विल आल्सो आइडियली दिस चेंज शुड वर्क या दिस गॉट एक्सेप्टेड सो इफ यू सी दिस विल एटलीस्ट सेव सम साइकल्स फॉर अस फ्रॉम हियर यस Okay, so I guess we are. Any questions from anyone on this? Sir, ये जो ऊपर पीयूष भैया ने बताया ना two 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 thousand one. हाँ. तो इसका कोई लिंक है क्या? I I can also read that article. I'll link it. Okay. okay.
cool then i think we are good with this question